The world is changing, and healthcare facilities are juggling the need to meet new demands. First, the world's population is both growing and aging. The number of people over the age of 60 will nearly double by the year 2050, which will also increase the number of people that need healthcare services. Innovative solutions are needed to better handle the coming influx of patients. Second, patient satisfaction is now a top five concern for more than 50% of healthcare executives. Hospitals which succeed in improving the patient experience will also likely see improved patient outcomes. Third, safety is paramount in a healthcare setting where lives are at stake. Lives depend on reliable power and real-time access to health records. A power outage can lead to unexpected costs, negative media attention, and even patient injury or death. Hospitals that protect their people and property will benefit from greater peace of mind. Leveraging IoT to meet these demands is becoming standard practice. By 2019, it is estimated that 87% of healthcare organizations will have adopted IoT technology. Hospitals that are at the forefront of IoT adoption will be seen as world-class providers and will set the stage for the future of modern healthcare. With EcoStructure for Healthcare, our IoT-enabled digital hospital architecture, Schneider Electric, delivers improved safety, patient satisfaction, and operational efficiency. Using real-time data about your healthcare facility's critical infrastructure, EcoStructure for Healthcare delivers the right information to the right person, anytime, anywhere. How do we do this? Let me tell you a story about Mrs. Chan, who is admitted to the hospital for a scheduled C-section birth. We will see how EcoStructure for Healthcare is used throughout her patient journey, from admission to the operating theater, back to her room, and finally discharge. We'll highlight the intelligent interaction between connected devices and our edge control software to improve operational efficiency through reduced energy consumption, safety through reliable power, and patient satisfaction through a patient-controlled mobile app and noise monitoring. When Mrs. Chan arrives at the hospital, she is registered as an inpatient and assigned to room 201 for the duration of her stay. Room 201 is now in an occupied mode and the building management system reacts accordingly to ensure a comfortable environment. The temperature begins to increase. Lights are turned on, ventilation adjusts, and blinds are open. Mrs. Chan is taken to her room. She uses a mobile app on her tablet to make herself more comfortable. She raises the temperature a couple degrees and closes the blinds so that she can change into her hospital gown. Mrs. Chan's scheduled time for her C-section is quickly approaching. She is transferred to pre-op and her patient room is now in setback mode. The lights are turned off and the temperature is relaxed. The airflow set points remain unchanged in case she arrives back unexpected. Meanwhile, the surgical team schedules Operating Suite 101 for Mrs. Chan's C-section. The room now changes to a preparation mode. During this mode, the BMS checks to ensure the OR is safe to use. The electrical and medical gas systems are checked, as well as the ventilation and environmental conditions to make sure they are working correctly. Once the safety checks have been carried out, the OR is now classified as occupied. Because an operating room is a highly critical environment, a power outage or electrical shock can be disastrous for a patient who is in surgery. Unfortunately, during Mrs. Chan's C-section, there is an unexpected failure with the electrical supply to the hospital. The facility's maintenance team is immediately notified via alerts on their mobile devices. They access their power monitoring system and see that the automated transfer switch has successfully switched the power to the backup supply. The hospital's power status returns to normal. The surgical team can see that the electrical problem has been resolved and no other issues remain. The surgeon safely completes the surgery and Mrs. Chan gives birth to a baby girl. Mrs. Chan is back in room 201. The next day, her family arrives to see the new addition to the family. She tells them that she didn't sleep well during the night because it was too noisy. The family is concerned and calls the nurse to investigate. The nurse checks her dashboard and sees that the average noise in room 201 is above the recommended 30 decibels at night. A few days later, Mrs. Chan and her daughter are doing well and they are discharged from the hospital. 
The room status is changed to housekeeping mode and the room is prepared for the next patient. Throughout Mrs. Chan's entire patient journey, EcoStructure for Healthcare was there to ensure she had access to a safe, pleasant, and healing environment. Thank you.